I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas proud me, I and they die, gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Chris, aka The Capital Connect, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, should you get funded or should you try to grow a personal account? Now, let's just jump right into this because I do get this question a lot. And to be honest, there is no right or wrong answer. However, in my opinion, I believe you should be looking to get funded. Now, why do I say you should be looking to get funded? Well, I can only speak from my experience. And right now i am still working a job right i am not a full-time trader i am not a full-time youtuber content creator whatever you want to call me i'm not i'm not any of that right so i still work a job and if you are like me which i believe most of you are right just looking at you know my demographics and things like that you don't have you know thousands of dollars to put into a trading account you, you just don't have thousands of dollars to put into a trading account so in order for you to grow your personal account, it would be a slow and painful thing to do. Like I tried to do that, right? Last year, you know, I put like two, three thousand dollars into a trading account, and I was like, I'm gonna grow this trading account from you know three thousand to a hundred k, right? And it made sense at the time in the beginning, right? I was like, okay, yeah, this it's easy to do, you know what I'm saying? Just grow from three to hundred k. How hard can it be? It can be extremely hard, bro. It can be extremely hard because not only do you have to have the patience right to grow an account slowly but surely but you also have to have the mental fortitude to know that as i'm growing this account and this number is getting bigger and bigger and bigger i can't make any withdrawals from it right or you have to make minimal withdrawals from it and i know for most people right they don't want to be doing work that feels like like there's no fruit coming from the work, right? And I feel like just growing a personal account is way harder than just getting funded. Like I feel like in America, bro, especially, right? I can't speak for every other country in the world, but in the US especially, it is like the struggle, right? Getting it out the mud, you know what I'm saying? You know, the grind, you know, doing things the hard way. Like, like that's it's almost like just glamorized and it's, and it's fantasized. Like we look at all these people and, and people look down on people with, you know, quote unquote, silver spoons or whatever. And it just makes zero sense. Like, why would you glorify the struggle? Why would you glorify doing things the hard way? Like something that, you know, one of my mentors who doesn't know he's my mentor, but he's really one of my mentors, Myron Golden. He always says this. Stop looking for the hard ways to make money and start looking for the easy ways to make money. Right. Stop being a hardaholic. Right. Stop looking for all the hard ways to do something. And, you know, can you grow a personal account, you know, from a small amount to six figures? Sure. But wouldn't it be a whole lot easier to leverage something like a prop firm and use the payouts that you get from the prop firm and put that into a personal account, into a personal account and grow it that way? Like something that Myron always says is you know you can always make up for and leverage what you lack in ability right so the fact of the matter is growing a personal account from a couple hundred dollars a couple thousand dollars to six figures is extremely hard right it's not impossible but it is extremely hard but it makes more sense that if i can pay fifty dollars a hundred dollars 150 dollars to get access to a whole lot more capital right and then trade using that capital and then funnel you know the payouts into a personal account that makes a whole lot more sense and i feel like also in the u.s it's it's glamorized to you know i did this on my own i had no help you know what i'm saying like being solo right individualism like that's that's being pushed in the united states a lot as well and it's like bro what is wrong with partnerships like view prop firms as partnerships like everyone wants to say that they did things on their own they had no help and so this is what I'm trying to say. It is a whole lot better to have 50% of a watermelon, or in most prop firms cases, 80% 80, 80 plus of a watermelon than it is to have 100% of a grape, right? Do you really care about ownership that much? Do you really care about being known as someone who did it by themselves, did it on their own, got it out the mud? Like, do you really wanna be known as that or do you just wanna have the money? Do you just wanna be successful? 
right? And so I believe prop firms are a good way for most people to grow their personal accounts. Now, I understand some of the drawbacks, right? There's, you know, rules you have to follow, you know, and at the end of the day, you can't really trust prop firms. I completely understand that. But at the end of the day, guys, I don't believe prop firms are the end all be all. That is why I don't push prop firms to be, you know, something that you use for the rest of your life or something that you rely on for the rest of your life. I feel like if you are going to use a prop firm, it should be a means to an end, right? I'm not looking to use a prop firm for the rest of my life, right? I may use a prop firm for the rest of my life, but guess what? I'm not gonna be dependent on it, right? If I'm using a prop firm like Top Step, right? And by the way, this ain't an affiliation or a you know sponsorship or promoted video. I don't, I'm not affiliated with Top Step. I'm not affiliated with any broker, prop firm, none of that, you know, business brand. I'm not affiliated with any of them, right? I just so happen to use Top Step and I can only speak from experience, right? But if I use something like Top Step and get funded, you know, 150K to, you know, let's just say I let's just say I max out, you know, get three accounts with Top Step 150K, so 450K, right? If I have $450,000 in funding, okay? Do you know how much money I can make with $450,000 worth of funding versus if I'm just going to trade a $3,000 account, $5,000 account, however much it may be? Like, I just think as a whole, guys, for most people, the right answer would be or the quote unquote right answer or the best answer I should say would be to get funded, get funded, leverage other people, right? Leverage other people's money, right? Leverage partnership, bro. Partnership is how you really get things done, right? You don't, if you go by yourself, you can't really go far, but if you go with the group, you can go as far as you want, man. So I feel like most people should look to leverage prop firms, right? Leverage prop firms. Here's the process. Prove you can trade with a prop firm, right? Get the account, get funded, okay? Get payouts. Use some of the payout money and funnel it into a personal account. And once you have built your personal account up to enough, you know, to a high enough balance, whatever that balance may be for you, for you to feel like you can, you know, survive on it solely, right? Then if you just want to be done with prop firms and you don't want to be dealing with the, you know, rules and all that, okay, then you can just be done with the prop firms and then trade your personal account. But I guarantee you, you will get to your goal as far as your personal account balance a whole lot faster leveraging a prop firm than you would trying to grow it by yourself, right? Stop looking for the hard ways to make money. Start looking for the easy ways to make money. And that's another thing too, like, I feel like in the US, bro, people be, they are so opposed to, you know, making money quickly, right? Like. Like we always hear these get rich quick. Like, oh, this is a get rich quick thing. Like, bro, like I don't believe in get rich quick strategies. However, I also don't believe in getting rich slow, right? I don't, I don't want to get rich slow either, right? I don't, I don't necessarily believe in getting rich quick, right? I want to get rich quick, right? And you know, the quicker I get rich, the quicker I can enjoy it, the quicker I can, you know, enjoy it with my family and with the people that love me and things like that, right? The quicker I get rich, the quicker I get financially free, the more time I have to enjoy it with the people I love, right? So don't get so caught up in, you know, wanting to steer clear of get rich quick things, right? Like just because something sounds too good to be true doesn't mean that it is, right? Some things are good and some things are true. So that's all I really wanted to say on that. But when it comes to getting funded, guys, you know, I believe it is a smart thing to do. Um, you know, not everything is a scam, right? Not everything is a, you know, quote unquote, get rich quick scheme. I mean, if you want to view, you know, getting funded as a get rich quick scheme, I mean, if you can really trade and you can, you know, pass these prop firm challenges, right? You can essentially become a virtual millionaire, right? You can get funded a million dollars and be a virtual millionaire. Like, just think about that, bro. Just think about all the things you can do, how much money you can get paid out if you had a million dollars in funding. And how long would it take you to, you know, grow a small account to six figures or a million dollars, right? Like, I just feel like getting funded just makes too much sense. Like, it just makes too much sense, especially for those of us who do not have access to thousands of dollars to just throw into a trading account. So that's really just my opinion. Um, the main idea for this whole video, guys, is it's a whole lot better to have 80%, you know, plus of a watermelon than it is to have 100% of a grape. 
you know, stop looking for the hard ways to make money and start looking for the easy ways to make money. And you can always make up for and leverage what you lack in ability, right? That's really the main, the three main points I want you guys to take away from this video. So that's all I got for this video, guys. I hope that I answered your question. Um, as always, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I will answer them to the best of my ability. But that's all I got. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. I'm gone.